Now more than ever, we have a need for well-trained public affairs professionals. They have to be able to deploy at a moment's call in order to tell the military's and Navy's story accurately from anywhere in the world. The MC is a professional that wears many hats. They are both a broadcast journalist, they are a videographer, they are an on-the-scene reporter. Whatever uh, the mission calls for, the MC is able to produce products for magazines, for newspapers, for television shows, whether it's a news broadcast or for that matter, a talk show. The, the MC is an all-in-one package public affairs professional. In Functional Area 1, we learn the basics of journalism. We learn how to do news writing, feature writing, and photojournalism, just the basic concepts. And we also learn how to do public affairs, as far as interviewing people and being on camera, answering questions for an interview. What we learned in Functional Area 2 was everything from knowing the quality of light and how to adjust our camera for different light, as well as um, even just composition, things to pay attention to that make a photo more interesting, but also to get the story across better. Uh, so we learned about things like framing or different elements that will pull viewers into a photograph and make it a compelling photo. We're in the studio uh, doing lighting and stuff. It kind of brings out the personality in everyone and shows who we really are. We have a chance to actually show everyone our characteristics and personalities, which is a big part because we haven't really got to know, e know each other and the studio brings out a person. Functional Area 3 takes you as a student through basically every aspect that you can think of for video. Um, the biggest thing that we've gotten from it though is that it really combines literally everything that we've learned up until this point. You're conducting interviews, things that we did in FA1, you're uh, setting up lights, uh, things that we did in FA2, you're uh, obviously doing video and taking video which is uh, very similar in concept to a lot of the concepts that we learned in FA2 as well. And then uh, you add in some design elements and then you add in the, the new stuff that you learn. To live in this world, you must be able to do three things. To love what is mortal. To hold it against your bones knowing your own life depends on it. And when the time comes, to let it go. To let it go. I'm Seaman Recruit Wesley Breedlove. My favorite functional area was Functional Area 4. Uh, we learned to vector mainly. That's probably my favorite that I can take out of this. So we learned flash. And we learned web design. And the last thing that we learned was InDesign.
In production, we learn digital duplication and digital reproduction. So we're working with scanners, copiers, printers, binders, and cutters um, to produce like a hard copy of the things that we learned in, in the previous FAs, such as news writing, feature writing, uh, photojournalism, multimedia, and videography to distribute to customers out in the fleet. The field training exercise is important because it is a culmination of the skills that we learn in the basic mass communication course. And it puts you out in the field. It takes you from the classroom to the field so you can use those skills in real life situations. Some scenarios that we get put through in FTX are one is being deployed with a ship and we go through basic shipboard life and some of the training scenarios that we go through, such as visual board search and seizure. We also go through a scenario where we're deployed with ground forces and put in combat situations and learn combat training and document that. <laughs> 